This college football picks week 12 edition of the sports gambling podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia from boosted parlays to same game up. <clears throat> From boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet hundred dollars and get a hundred dollar free bet at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash winbet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash winbet. We're also brought to you by the SGPN World Cup free roll, two hundred fifty dollars cash and a two hundred fifty dollar gift card to the winner. Enter today exclusively on the SGPN app. This is Jim Mora, and you're listening to SGPN. Let her ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner and picks Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dong. Uh, I was commenting on the basketball show, but we uh, just we look pretty good ever since Colby got this haircut. Mm. Colby got his haircut. Uh, we're joined as always by Colby Dan, aka the Dan to base host of the college and basketball, the college basketball and football experience. What's happening, Colby? Just waiting for that battle of I seventy five action going on tonight. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Who do that, you got? That was the sound of the show. Falcons, man. <laughs> Falcons are gonna fly in any weather tonight. Bowling Green with the points. Oh, their, their uniforms just look too much like the Browns for me. Just for me. But you don't like the Browns uniforms? Not really. Wow. We Ever got since they put the elf on the turf. We got a uh, we got a ton of college football picks to get to. There's just so much going on in the world of college football. It's uh, yeah, it's just been a damn good college football season. Kramer with a strong week, eight five and one. Oh, thank you. Myself did not get a lock wrong. Wow. Now fifty eight percent of my lock record. We didn't get a lock wrong. We. That's true. Kramer also didn't get a lock wrong. Colby, always appreciate you on the show. Terrible. <laughs> Sports gambling podcast. This, I won. I don't care. I won. Play my Benedict music. Texas. Look, when you bet and lose on Texas, you really win. Okay. You That's really fine. win. You know I thought you were going to say you found some crazy <laughs> uh, Texas you know, plus 35. I, I should have known Colby taking Texas was a trap. Oh, it's perfect trap, setup because if you throw your trap. money down on them, classic emotional hedge. But, Sean, here's but what if I'm you thinking. lose, you win it's, it's, because it's, Texas loses. It's Nutty Professor. But it's Colby and all his different characters. <laughs> Pick Dundee, Dantabase, oh, Nick Velvet, yeah, the Dantabase. I, I need to work on a new one. You know? <laughs> he's, the, he's the Dana Carvey of uh, DJ. No, no. All right. So th- hear me out. This is a round table show. I like yeah. to play. It's a podcast. It's a one man <laughs> podcast with six characters. I like it. Oh yeah. I Actually two man. Patty C gets to be there too. Yeah. yeah. Patty C. We go. We uh, yeah. And we got Benedict Dant. We got Actually, a lot. Actually no. Yeah. No Patty C. We get all of the dance including Nick. That's what we get. Here we go. All right. All right. Where were we? We're here talking about getting down on some college football action. College basketball is back. The NBA, the National Football League can get you can bet it all. Or at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet bet. Best part is bet a hundred dollars, get a hundred dollar free bet. That's right. A hundred dollar free bet? Are you kidding me? No, it is uh it's just great. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Fire up that parlay wheel, spin it. Anytime you fire up a parlay, spin the parlay wheel, great prizes, odd boosts, and of course, the same game parlay, aka win. Build your own bet. Putting together maximum value. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Bet big. Win bigger with win bet. All right, we are going to get to the picks. Before we do that, it's time for. Do I not have oh here we go? Time for this week's installment of Real Men of (laughs) DGens. SGPN presents 
Real men of DGENs. Real men of DGENs. We salute you. <laughs> Uncle Chen. Uncle Chen is a 50 year old man who ran a marathon in three hours and 28 minutes, all while smoking cigarettes. That's right. He doesn't care about your cardio. He doesn't care about your smoking is bad for you. Some other other runners complain, but apparently there is no rule to stop you from smoking while running a marathon. So congrats to you, uncle Chen. Amazing time. Three hours and 28 minutes at age 50. Maybe cigarettes aren't that bad. Well, it's surprising. There isn't a rule because back in the seventies, cyclists mm. smoked cigarettes because they believed it helped actually. Um, my, <laughs> Yeah, I mean that it's a pretty funny st- it's pretty crazy to think that back then like even in college my uncle was a he, he would have gone to the Olympics when they boycotted um rode a bike for Clemson and they would they would smoke to like help their capa- their lung capacity. Yeah, you get a little nicotine, get it, a little, like a little cigarette. So maybe it was focus. just the nicotine, the but the Clemson yeah. biking team boycotted the Olympics. No, no, no. I'm oh. saying he rode for Clemson private, you know, oh. formerly private school. We learned with public school. Um, but yeah, also would have been part of the Olympic team. Shout out to the USA. Shout out to our merch store. I am rocking my refs or terrorist t-shirt. Oh, Sean. You can get your oh. own. Yeah. Over at store.sportsgamblingpodcast.com using the promo code Dallas sucks 10% off between now and Thanksgiving. So the much holiday gift that everyone likes. So, I mean, you do those so white elephant. <laughs> you do those white elephant uh, gifts. Imagine getting a sweet SGPN t-shirt. Maybe your aunt ends up with a refs or terrorist t-shirt. That is just, that's how you win uh, the white elephant. I was gonna say, is it inappropriate for uh, for a child to wear this to school? I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's kids fine. need to. You can just say it's the name of a band. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, they bring terror. It's a good name for a band too. I mean, if you just, terrorists. If you're not sure. Just check out Sean's Twitter feed lately. A lot of terror on there. Oh, and uh, all these. I mean, I I was chirping at the refs, rightly so. You know, as a as a media member, it's my. It's kind of my duty to go after the refs when they blow calls. Accountability is what they call it in the and, industry. And I mean, again, this is how we'll never agree on anything in this country. There were people defending the refs. Like, who are these ref simps that are just I like mean, this is the yeah, problem. Yeah, you know, you got you, you have to call that. Well, you don't have to call Can you explain roughing to me? the passer if you don't rush Most the country up? don't don't really know what football is. Were they defending You know the, what I mean? The, like eighty seven percent have their <laughs> I, idea. I'm just cause cause uh, my whole Twitter feed was like, Oh, it's a good call. Right. It's well. That's it's the same. That's call. the same Twitter feed that that I don't know, doesn't also include Woj. And yeah. A couple. Of, I, he probably agrees that that's a good call. Probably, yeah. It, that's not a fucking good call, dude. Look, I I I, I would have loved to see you know just the the game pan out like okay the yeah, Eagles have they, a chance. They robbed. Yeah. They robbed Washington. Redskins. Of, the Redskins. Yeah, they robbed them of a chance to see if they could stop the Eagles in the two minute drill and really rub it in our faces. Instead, we can lean on the fact that the uh, refs threw a horrific flag. And, and every quarterback should now keep doing this. It's absolutely terrible. We have a pandemic going on of of shit football. Well, going so you got yeah. so to buy the t shirt. Don't you like the Taylor Heineke? Terror. I do. I don't like Taylor Heineke anymore. This was. <laughs> what do you mean? He I did mean, nothing get, wrong. That's the ref. Oh, ball. no, no. He did. So, he did. He, he sold was, it. No, but that's a bitch but that's move. That's our climate no. right now, dude. No, that, Col- that's what they're teaching. We're, we're back. We're back. That's to, what they're crazy. teaching. We're that, back to pull. We're back to Moscow. No, you, I'm having flashbacks. You, you go into a stadium with Troy Aikman, and you come out of there as the biggest bitch. That is not something. Dude, we Whoa. saw Kenny Pickett fake slide last year. We see this all across. Yeah, and all we made across. fun. We made fun of Kenny Pickett. No, I agree. We should make fun of him, but at the yeah. same time, he. If you if you are a football coach and you're not teaching that dude, right now, because clearly. That what that right. that was the, what won you the you game. You want people to teach that? No, I'm saying though, for you to be successful at your job, you should be doing that. No, no, no. Yes. You could have been. You didn't need to do that to be successful Dude, at your job. You watch it in any sport right now. Any it's sport. A horrible take. Any sport, whether it's baseball, you football, or basketball. Why would you seeing encourage flops everywhere? Well, everywhere. why would everywhere. you encourage that? I'm not encouraging it. I'm saying you no, just you want to win. Should do it. Well, yeah, if win. you want to win. It, no, you who don't. won last night, Sean? The, Who the commanders? But that because another, of that no, bullshit. No, no, no. They, yeah. they, had they 40 played, minutes of time of possession. They, they, they did play plus better. Plus two in turnovers. They played better than the Eagles. The refs they didn't need to do that. The outcome of that game off of a bullshit no, no, call. 
Yes, See, they that's did. That's a TMZ Yes, take. they did. That's, that's ridiculous. No, they, they, uh, what they, decided the game? What, what was the first down that, that ended the teams game? Teams with only 20 minutes of time of possession don't often win games. Oh, so, shut so, up with that shit. Well, that, old it's school football. stupid analytics bullshit. It's true. Well, get out of here. That's, if that's analytics. There's plenty of teams <laughs> I can pull needs up. An upgrade. There's plenty of teams that lose the, the, the time of possession battle that win. Yeah, yeah, plenty but, of teams all across. I, the I sport. don't know what Colby. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty rare. Colby's arguing that. that people I'm should confused. be trying. I think he no, just wants I'm to argue. I'm saying you need to get rid of that rule. You, I think you, you should, they should create you know a rule happened? where you can't slide and you can't down it. Hold on, we we have to share. We have to pull back the curtain or like the fifth wall, whatever we want to call it. Uh, the 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 Rose Bowl did send a letter to the offices <laughs> saying they have. Fa- uh, Colby did apply for reinstatement. They have uh, they have not granted you that reinstatement. I wouldn't. So. You couldn't give me free tickets. All right. <laughs> Colby's turning on college football. This is great. I right. wanted I've wanted so, the Rose Bowl to die for a long time. You want to talk about yeah. college football? Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay. I, I need to get his wet tail wagon again. All right, we're we're gonna start off with some Thursday night action. We're heading down to Nolens, Tulane hosting SMU. Tulane laying three minus 160 on the money line, plus 135 for SMU. 65 is the total. Are we? It, I mean, it, I'm sure the lit factor will be relatively high. Uh, this is a big game because the the Tulane just lost to UCF, but if they win out, they're still going to be in the AAC championship. They'll play UCF most likely again. SMU still alive to make it too. So, pretty big game. Tulane's been a beast. ATS eight and two. Um. Why do you think Colby? Why does SMU own Tulane? They've won seven in a row against Tulane. Well, Tulane was a, a reboot. When, when I mean, it was a tough, yeah. tough build when when they started that. Uh, and you know, SMU does have some players. So, but I, I think Tulane gets them here. I think Tulane's finally the better team at this point. They're more physical. I think Ty J Spears will have a big game in in the backfield, and. Uh, it will be interesting though, because Tulane's pass defense, which has been great all year, they're going to get tested. SMU, Rishi Rice is one of the best wideouts in the AAC, and uh, they run, you know, a lot of those air raid concepts. Yeah, well, how's that been treating us? Leach is really Leach is. I'm looking at you, Coach. He has been disappointing. We, we got, really, we, Kobe, wa- we can't put him on the sheet anymore. We got to watch our the love tape. of Coach Leach the man clouds our judgment of Coach Leach the football team. Oh yeah, I folded up the chair on him uh, <laughs> it, coming on the show for a, a little bit for a month. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Tulane. <laughs> Kramer, what are you doing? Oh, I mean, that, that, that exactly what I would. My my concern would be if you're looking uh, any sort of betting uh, splits, it's they're, they're a pretty heavy favorite. Uh, they're getting seventy percent of the money. I don't know. I, I'll still lay the three. I'm with you guys. Home, home team, you know, it matters. SMU, you know, it's funny. I pulled up the SMU schedule because I just want to look at something. And I was like, oh, shit, I pulled up the basketball schedule. No. A 77 <laughs> to 63 Houston game showed dude, up. They there. had and I was 59 like, at half, dude. <laughs> they had 59 insane. and a half. Well, yeah, I mean, Tulane should be able to play enough defense to keep this a game, right? Yeah, they have a good pass defense. Well, that, so. yeah, Matty Ice in the YouTube chat uh, requested a lisp Dundee video. So, <laughs> do I still have a lisp? <laughs> <laughs> Just sipping that beautiful whiskey you guys five gave me for Christmas. Five. <laughs> I wow. think Blake Bortles is better than Dak Prescott. Blake Bortles. <laughs> we gotta talk about how many of those you have and, and how how some things have fallen off the board. Oh, so, yeah. You you always gotta keep lisp lisp Dundee around. <laughs> That's a, not a pick. It, my a my pick. brother's a wife. I come over to his house and, and oh. she, she starts just sipping some of that beautiful whiskey, Colby. <laughs> oh, that's that's cold. I I mean, you got is Gus Johnson on the board? Um, probably not. You you have taken over mm. Gus Johnson's mm. spot, Colby. Mm. So talk about a bucket list item for you. All right, let's move over to Friday, six forty five here on the West Coast. We're heading I to I want a dick rubbed on me tonight. <laughs> so I was Why able to is find that one so loud. <laughs> How you were oh, really, shit. you're really fired up, Brian. Shout out to that live show where we had a, a, a backdrop for people to take picture. Do you remember this? Dick Olson had it was toothless. Oh man, what a, what a time! <laughs> live show. Uh, where, where were we? Like the the Palazzo, maybe. All right, San Diego State uh, heading to Albuquerque, New Mexico, Friday, where, they, where they're laying 14 and a half on the road, minus 6.45 on the money line. New Mexico plus 4.50. 39 and a half is the total. That's a this is a massive spread for San Diego State. On the road too. I mean, the I, I like New Mexico here as a home dog, uh, even though they've lost seven straight. I'm concerned though at 14 and a half. It it, it feels like the books are trying to trap you into taking New Mexico. 
Uh, whereas, like, if it was 13 and a half, I would almost love Let's New just Mexico talk about more. This Does that make sense? It's 39 right? and a half is the total. Yeah. What kind of game are we talking about here, Colby? Uh, this is a good one. Because the well, to cover this number and stay and be around the total, we're talking about like a 20, a, a, what, 26 to 12. But San Diego State suddenly found a little offense the past, uh, what, past, I don't know, two of the past three weeks. They scored 43 on San Jose State, who has a decent defense. 28 on Fresno. New Mexico um, sucks. They've lost seven in a row by double digits. What? What are you? What are you doing here, Colby? What's the weather report? I saw you looking at it. Uh, 42 degrees, but clear. It's cold for some SoCal bros. I'm gonna take New Mexico here, but I I don't I don't love this. Uh, yeah, 14 oh, 14 and a half feels a little tricky. What are you doing, Colby? This is a tough one, man, because you got Rocky Long, the DC of New Mexico, against his his uh, old yeah. you know, old school and nope. his old defensive coordinator. Like the DC currently at San Diego State Sean, is his apprentice. You love sneaky um, elevation games. Yes, Albuquerque, mile high. Yeah, no. Let's, let's go with New Mexico. Let's, let's go. take the point. Cold as shit. That's He's, going in the round robin, yeah. baby. I've seen San Diego State fuck games like this up before. Yeah, but, it'll be chilly by time kickoff because it's what six forty five our time. Who what kicks the game pull off that at six forty five? Colby, pull that weather up uh, while we're moving along to the next game and see what the low is because, uh, you know, San Diego State they're not used to anything below sixty. What did I do with that weather? Oh, Colby's having a hard time <laughs> tracking down the weather. <laughs> All right, moving. <laughs> As we can, just a reminder, Kramer. Oh, I'm sorry. Colby did six pack. Colby six yeah. favorite games. Six favorite <laughs> best games of the week. Sure, uh, sure. Moving over to 9 a.m. on Saturday, Waco, Texas hosts TCU and Baylor. TCU road chalk here, laying two and a half, minus 145 on the money line. One plus 125 for Baylor. Four, 57 and a half is the total. 40 I'm seeing like late 30s by by kickoff late 30s yeah I mean a little bit of breeze kicks up now we're talking about freezing there we go okay I don't think San Diego State wants any of that TCU seems to have the horseshoe up no, in the they ass dominated Texas though, up man. in the ass and hooked around um the fish ain't getting off if you know what I mean <laughs> feel like they're gonna ride the, or I, maybe it's a frog the horseshoe's up the frog's ass I at this point Im impressive, strong, explosive quads to be able to lift off with a horseshoe up your ass. T TCU, I, I see no reason to get cute and, and try to fade them other than we said they were going to lose a game this regular season. Oh, we've had this one forecasted and for this, a while. This here. would be the game, right? Um, I just think Dave Aranda's defense can present challenges. Uh, look, I was all over Kansas State beating Baylor. My analysis was that. Uh, Aranda's teams struggle against the more physical uh, Big Twelve teams, and K State's one of those. But if it's Oklahoma, I take it. If it's you know, if it's, it's some of these other like kind of soft teams. Now I know TCU has been a lot better than what I thought they'd be this year, but I do think Aranda can challenge, can really challenge Max Duggan. And uh, yeah, give me, give me Baylor. Getting, me and Patty C called this. This is a back to back away too. Second yeah. end of the back to back away. The emotional one was that one with Gary Patterson being on the staff. It's a huge letdown spot. Give me the Bears on the money line here. Do they not? Mm. I mean, I do like Baylor in the bounce back situation coming off that br uh, that embarrassing loss to K State. Now you're a home dog. W what level of smelling themselves is TCU experiencing now that they went into Texas and took down the, Texas? The, Horns down, as I pointed what's out. What's that? Like eight out of 11? <laughs> what's that? The right. smell. Factor. Is it really that crazy? Eight out of eleven wins. Uh, I mean, how uh, many years? Against Texas, you're saying? Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm just been saying they do it every yeah. year. Maybe yeah. it's not that big of a deal. I mean, maybe I think with their coach last year, and apparently, like a lot of the locker room was maybe getting was, was out on Patterson. So I think it'd probably be a little more. I'm. I'm yeah, I, it's a little, I, but, but they're catching an early kick too. Nine a.m. to kick. I think that limits some exposure to any sort of crazy environment. And if they win this, you know, that puts Baylor right back in the mix to play in the Big 12 championship. I, I, if I'm reading, I mean that that means they're t th this is an 11 a.m. local time kickoff. Yeah. That's early. That really is going to limit the crowd involvement in this one early. Well, that's a rivalry game though, man. They'll get up. I I yeah. got you. That's an early start though. I mean, we watched football in Texas. It's not quite West Coast, but 
You didn't have to adjust for it either. TCU is the play for me. I'm not fading this team. I'm yeah, done. I'm with you. I'm going on TCU. I mean, I, Colby screwed me last week, and I, I saw a lot out of them against Texas. I understand the, the the Baylor bounce back situation and the matchups, but I'm going TCU. I think they just they're tough to stop right now. So yeah, give me TCU minus two and a half. I love frogs and I love horns. Seems obvious. I should have thought about this more last week. 9 a.m. heading to Ann Arbor, Michigan, where the Illini come to town, catching 18 points plus 655 on the money line. Michigan minus 1,080. 42 is the total. These Big Ten totals compared to some of these Big 12 and Pac 12 totals are are pretty hilarious. Ah oh, man, don't you just slam Illinois here with Michigan looking ahead to Ohio State? I don't like yeah. as a TMZ situational college football handicapper. Is this not this is the situation of situation? I mean, this is also they're like mirror images. Illinois, like the way Michigan plays football is what El- Illinois kind of dreams to be, but they're they their power run, great defense, and that's kind of what Michigan is under Jim Harbaugh. So I think that that kind of if there's one team that can bang with Michigan, I think it might be the the Illini and Chase Brown. Obviously, I think that's a situation to monitor because I don't know that he's a hundred percent for this. Well, game, and Illinois has been really good ATS on the road, six and one ATS last seven games on the road. And I think Ryan Walters might be able to dial up a couple packages to give uh, give them, you know uh, what's his name, not McNamara, but uh, the starter McCarthy. So some uh, some trouble, yeah, some issues. It's this Joe Judge coaching tree taking the college landscape <laughs> by storm. I, I'm worried that Illinois is a public dog a little bit. What we, is we the, know what we know we the, talking it's not for? bad, but it's 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 trending in a direction where they will they will be the more popular side, which is always worrisome when you have Michigan. 18 points is so much for a Big Ten game. Though. It's also random. Oh, that it's 18. Yeah, yeah you cover that key 17. I guess you can uh, tease it up to 24. Uh, I can't not take uh, again. You nailed it. Michigan, Ohio State on deck. I mean, we just wa- we watched in person, Sean, a UCLA team look ahead to oh USC my God, yeah. and shit all over themselves as what, 20 point favorites? Huge. Seems pretty similar. Montana heads to Montana State. It's now 11 a.m. on the West Coast. Oh, man, I love this little rivalry game. You snuck in an FCS game. Oh, this rivalry. How dare you? What is this? This rivalry is among mean, the best in all It's called the Brawl of the Wild. Yeah. Can we get a what? Can we get a ruling here? All right, Sean. It seems like Sean wants to do it. Uh, Montana State. Hey, uh, if you don't want to do it, I question your, uh, you know. Mont- uh, well, I did like manhood. SoFi Stadium last night. It was pretty beautiful. Yeah, I questioned it. Montana too. State, minus three, minus 160 on the money line. Montana, plus 135. 62 is the total. This I'm, game's fantastic. Game day yeah. is going to be here. Yeah, that's hilarious. That because instead UCLA of USC, <laughs> UCLA, they went to the brawl of the wild. I, that's awesome. I mean, shout out to Montana. Uh, if, you, if you gave me an option, I would go. Well, I would we know, go to that. You know, come on. I mean, what's what's the Bozeman weather report? You know, no, might get some snow. Well, last last year was in the snow. Okay, I like that. Tw- a high of twenty eight. Sign me up. We got football weather, Sean. And Mon- Montana won 29 10 last year. First brawl victory since 2015. So this is a rivalry dominated by Montana State. Does of Mon- late, of late. Historically, it's actually been the Grizz. Yeah. Um, Montana State's been good in the FCS, 9 1 overall, 7 0 in the big sky. I know, I know this is an ultimate get up spot for Montana, but uh, Montana State only laying three to me feels a bit short. I'm taking Montana State. You taking see, a you taking a bobcat to see the, the tough thing bear? is what the three the three losses by Montana We're sitting this next year. to a bear expert right yeah here. yeah and the, you're gonna take a bobcat the, the if it was a cougar I, I've seen cougars fend off bears grizzlies before <laughs> but I, a bobcat Mon- Montana State athletic director <laughs> Leon Costello has declared this season the year of the bobcat right <laughs> bobcats are like a house cat they're up nimble in Montana. they're nimble they're like a house cat. They come around and, and you you feed them milk. Grizzly bear gonna tear it apart. Give me the Montana grizzly bears. Ooh ooh. You know what? I'm with you, man. They've had they've had some tough luck in these close losses. All three of their losses were one score games. I, I have some. Oh, tr- aren't they primed for another one score loss here? Montana State winning by seven. I uh, have that possible possible. But uh, look, I think Montana is the more desperate team. Montana State's already in yeah. the FCS playoffs. Uh, Montana needs, oh, needs to f- Montana figure this State's out. State's gonna get up for this game. Oh, I'm of not. course, of course. But I think they're in the Montana's in a more desperate spot. What is the name of the Montana 
mascot. Uh, it's either one. I've been can... to that stadium. Wait, Barry. Barry is your guess. What's your guess for the bear? Yeah. For the... Ooh, I don't know. What's uh, give me a uh... Monty. Monty. There we All go. Right. That's not bad. All right. I mean, it, I think it's like a play on Montana. Monty, the <laughs> yeah. grizzly bear. It's it actually not there. a grizzly bear, but it's modeled after a grizzly bear. It's important. They call that out. It's important to them. Eleven thirty kick on the West Coast. We're heading to South Bend, Indiana, where Notre Dame is hosting Boston College. It's gonna be some fuckery going on here. Notre Dame minus twenty one, um, minus twenty four hundred on the money line. Ten sixty coming back for Boston College. Forty five is the total. Boston College is fucking horrible. But it, this is but. This, this is a tough game to handicap because one on one side, Notre Dame probably looking ahead towards USC. Notre Dame also is a team that can collapse. Uh, I mean, they the Navy won the second half nineteen to nothing. They won the game thirty five to thirty two. But really, I mean, what are they doing? Let Navy back in that game. But then on the other side, BC is coming off a big win against NC State. So uh, this is this is curious. I mean, the fact that I think Boston College throws the ball so much and relies on their offense means to me if they do get behind, they can bail themselves out of it. So I'm going to take BC in the points, but I I see why people might want to fade them coming off that win against NC State. Boston College has not won the Holy War since 2008. Uh, that's not the real Holy War. Real Holy War is BYU Utah. Come on. Don't uh, you, don't let them Catholic let Holy them. War. Um, no, how about that freshman quarterback, Emmett Moorhead? You know, J- Phil Jerkowski's been out, and Emmett Moorhead's been playing great ball. The guys out of California that going up to Boston. Uh, he looked good last week, and obviously, him, Zay Flowers, got to take the points here with, with BC. Do you? Yeah, I think I sprinkle some on the money line. Zay Flowers isn't going to sit out so he can wait for the draft. I mean, n- <laughs> getting to that time of year. <laughs> nothing would surprise me with Notre Dame right now. They're a lot like Stanford. Why is BC's num- a lot like Stanford. No, why is this number so big? Why is Notre Dame ranked? We uh, could ask these. We could we could do a million questions <laughs> here, right? The world is betting Boston <laughs> College this week. Public dogs at fleas, watch I, out! I think Notre Dame. Maybe Notre Dame cares a little bit more about making sure they stomp on these Catholic school rivals. Mm, I won't. Mm. I won't say the Holy War. I'll lay the points. I'll be chalky. Mm. Give me Notre Dame. I rooted for them as a kid when Lou Holtz was the coach. Mm. That's a, when he now, had that neck brace. That's a football. Bobby coach. Petrino later. We borrowed. actually have uh, we actually have Lou Holtz right here. I'm just sipping that beautiful whiskey you guys <laughs> gave me for Christmas. <laughs> Do I still have a list? No, no, you can't even tell. Hey, Rocket Money, have you not signed up for Rocket Money? You're leaving money on the table. Think of all those subscriptions you've signed up for. Hey, 14 day free trial, and then you forget that they're billing your credit card every month for 4.99. There could be even duplicate transactions. I mean, what are you? Do you have a certified public accountant mm. at home? No, you have Rocket Money. Rocket Money uh, puts together all your subscriptions. It makes it super easy to cancel the ones you don't need or aren't using, and saves you a bunch of money in the process. Very easy setup and very easy to cancel. All you got to do is go to RocketMoney.com/sgpn. RocketMoney.com slash SGPN. Highly, highly recommend this. Again, it's gonna free up some extra cash. I I can bet you there is one subscription that is on your credit card right now that if you've either forgotten about or you don't use it all, cancel it today using rocketmoney.com slash SGPN. We're also brought to you by Babbel. That's right, Babbel is the language learning app. It's sold more than 10 million customers. That's amazing. Perfect gift for the holidays. It's a great gift if you don't know what to get someone. Um, hey, what about learning another language? Ten minutes a day, you know. Look at three weeks later, you're you're able to have a conversation in a new language. It's super addictive. It's super fun. Great way to start your day. Just knock out a little ten minute language lesson, and they got you covered. Spanish, French, Italian, German, and they have a twenty day money back guarantee in case you don't like it. But that's not going to happen. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash SGP. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash SGP for up to 55% off Babbel language for life. Ciao. Georgia heads to Kentucky. Georgia's laying 22 and a half here, minus 2,500 on the money line. Kentucky plus 1,200. 49 and a half is the total. Tinder oh. Pro. It's probably the subscription that Colby has that he doesn't know about. <laughs> He's got to get rid of that before someone catches on. What's Joe, this? We're laying points with Georgia, right? I don't give a shit that this is a rivalry. 
Is it a rivalry? I mean, not I mean, really. You know how it goes. Uh, Kentucky lost to Vanderbilt at home yeah. in the that snow. Was, I mean, yeah. may, maybe there's a bounce back situation for them, but um, and shout out to the chat. I think uh, who, who said it? Uh, someone said he's up five grand from any time we pick against Georgia or Colby picks against Georgia. Oh, I ain't shit. He takes the Fading other Stetson side. Bennett last year in the playoffs. Oh no, I'm, that, I'm, that was bad. That I'm was tired, bad. I'm tired of losing money picking against Georgia. They're a machine. This defense is is just super special. And again, I, this Van, you know, this Kentucky team, I haven't seen anything from them. I think Will Levis is. I, I still don't understand how he's. Rank so high as a quarterback, and I think he's really going to get exposed. Someone's going to draft against him against an in the first awesome round. defense. So yeah, give so, me Georgia. Someone's going to draft him in the first round. Someone is going to draft his ass. Look, they're looking ahead to the Louisville game. It's simple as that. What 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 is what does Mister Stoop need? Stoops need seven wins. Uh, what yeah, does he seven, have right now? Six, right? Six. They don't need this. <laughs> so what are you preparing for? Rest your starters. Get that seven. That would be great I, I'm taking the Wildcats in the points. Do oh. not write in my oh. pick here. Let's go. Give me the Wildcats in oh. the points. I'm going to get that guy rich again. All right. I like it, Colby. All Thank right. You. It's fucking going to be cold. Let's go. Let's go, baby. All right. Wait, someone's talking shit about our picks? Uh, no, Richard Gertzberger wants to know how many te- consecutive SEC losses did they have? It was like. 21 straight losses. Oh, it was a while. Yeah, it was. It was a lot. I don't remember the exact number, but but shot. They almost beat Missouri a couple weeks before that. They've been. been Congrats, the doing a good I'm job. I'm happy for him. Yeah, I'm laying the point. 26 game losing streak in the SEC. Yeah, I'm. 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 Were they looking ahead to Georgia? It means more. No, I think they were looking ahead to Louisville. Yeah, they needed Two that week win. Look ahead. They did need that win. I mean, the other <laughs> handicap is they really needed that win. To get that bonus for Mr. Stoops, and they couldn't get it, he's gonna be really angry with them. I, I don't know. It's Give me the Wildcats <laughs> in the points, baby. Hard, let's hard to, go. Hard to handicap this spot. All right, move. All right, let's let's talk about Texas. Steve Sarkeesian, no no gas, all breaks. Horns down. <laughs> horns down. Heading to Lawrence, Kansas. Sean doing horns down. YouTube. So fun to do it. Slash sports gambling podcast. Texas laying nine here on the road. Minus three twenty five. This, this makes, in a bounce this back makes no sense. Spot plus two fifty five. For the Jayhawks, sixty-four is a to- is the total. It's also a bounce back spot for the the Jayhawks. I know they haven't been the same team uh, since we lost Jalen Daniels, but he might come back this weekend well, against Texas. That's crazy. I'm seeing probable for the first time. Really, for the first time. All right. And Kansas has been great ATS at home. A five zero and one ATS, like six games at home. Who's I, betting? Texas? And Texas looks horrible on the road. I know they look bad against TCU at home as well. But Quinn Ewers on the road is not it. I don't know. What Does he finish the game, Colby? Uh, I mean, he's gonna finish the game, but he's gonna finish the game playing shitty and taking another L. Give me my Jayhawks, what, baby. What this happened? is money line. What potential. happened to him? What do you mean? What happened to him? He was overhyped. No, no. Right? He, he had one good first half against Alabama's defense. Guess who looks good at every quarterback that plays Alabama's defense? That's right? true. <laughs> I think we're learning that Alabama doesn't have a good defense. That's true. Uh, oh, he had a great game against Oklahoma. You know who has a great game against Oklahoma? Everyone who faces Oklahoma. This is true. <laughs> All right, you're making very coherent points. Give me Kansas plus nine. I mean, you. There was a zero percent chance that Sean or Colby were taking Kansas in this spot, and I'm certainly not, or K- Texas, and I'm certainly not gonna. So the, the Discord will be on uh, Michigan and did, Texas. Did you see the stat line for Quinn, Quinn Ewers uh, against TCU? I, TCU is not known for their defense. I didn't he think was he was se- that bad. Seventeen of thirty-nine uh, for one hundred seventy. One yards, zero touchdowns, an interception, four yards of completion. Shame on me for check thinking, down King. Shame on me for thinking he uh, was a good football player. We, he's definitely starting. He's right? young, man. He's, he's young. St- he's starting. Give him right? some time. Now Ar- you're, now Arch you're, Manning's coming. This is so confusing. <laughs> I, all right, one p. That was twelve thirty uh, on the West Coast. Now we're heading to one p.m. on the West Coast. Iowa heading to Minnesota, where Minnesota. They're rowing the boat. They're laying three minus one forty-five on the money line. Iowa plus one twenty-five. Thirty-two and a half is the total. This is a Bro, pre- the boat. This is a preseason total. Thirty-two and a half. <laughs> I mean, I was just—it's ugly football. It's tough to watch. It's, what do you mean? It's, it's fantastic it's to watch. It's beautiful football. <laughs> fantastic Sorry, to watch. It's so easy to get the buttons going on the. On but I, Iowa the doesn't win. This is not the spot you no, take. Iowa. No, and I was coming off a nice win against Wisconsin. We were all on Iowa, and now this is a this is a spot for the Gophers to show up, who also play really good defense. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Iowa goes into Minnesota 
I mean, I would set Iowa's team total at nine and a half and take the under. What I just are, don't see them put up a lot of points on the road in Minnesota. What are the stakes here, Colby? Uh, this is Iowa's final game of this. Like, I mean, they have so, Nebraska coming into to Iowa City, but, but Nebraska's winner, checked out. Does the winner of this game have the Big Ten West? Yes. The big, odd, yeah, yeah. This is a gigantic game, uh, and I mean, if you look r- at recency. <laughs> Iowa has dominated this rivalry, but that that, that that's yeah. that would make that's what makes me like Minnesota here is that PJ Flex see, never beaten Iowa. I know yeah. that's why he's gonna get up for this uh, game. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm on. Look, I have a Minnesota to win the Big Ten West ticket. Give I'm, me Iowa. I'm ignoring that. Give me Iowa and uh, give me oh, Iowa, yeah. Iowa Plus, to win this on the you're right. line. I, yeah, I want to see Iowa play Ohio State in the Big Ten championship. <laughs> on, on the turf in that's India. The Indi- stupidest. Indianapolis. That's the stupidest. Hey, we're the Big Ten. Let's play. We're going to see a fifty play a championship game in a gonna, roller rink. We're going to see a fifty right? point blowout in the Big Ten championship. <laughs> <laughs> Put Iowa on turf. How, what a dirty, dirty trick. Sean, you, uh, you're on Minnesota. You're staying, oh yeah, you guys are wrong. Staying on the boat. We're wrong. Minnesota has an offense. Iowa doesn't. Defense. They both have. Good Iowa's defenses. offense Iowa is wins. their defense <laughs> and special teams. And have you seen their fucking punter? Yeah. Best punter in America. C- Colby pointing out that uh, Iowa owns PJ Fleck wh- is what swayed me. All right, let's move. We're heading to almost nighttime, 4 p.m. on the West Coast. We're heading to Laramie. A little bit of elevation here. Boise State taking on Wyoming. Boise State laying 14, really? On the road? Minus 555 on the money line. Four to one for Wyoming. 44 is the total. Uh, oh. Someone had some fun with those numbers. Oh, I mean this, how do we not just play Wyoming? What's the weather report in, in, Wy- in Laramie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll look it up. I mean, Boise okay. state has always struggled in Wyoming one and six ATS last seven games against Wyoming. This is, I mean, this is Wyoming's like super bowl, right? I mean, Colby, am I like, what else is Wyoming football program getting up for? Come Boise well, no, state. This is to, this is to play in the mountain West championship this no, is to win that division. Like, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And they're a 14 point home dog. We've said we saw Air Force came in there and got knocked off as a big yeah. uh, favorite. Craig this Bull. to me seems like a similar spot. Craig Bull, the head coach of the Cowboys, should be should be mentioned for one of the coaches of the year. He won't because it's Wyoming, but he should because this team lost everybody in the transfer portal. They weren't able to bring much in, and everyone said they're going to be one of the worst teams in college football. And look at them right now, man. They're they're winning. They're winning ugly, but hey, seven and three. And uh, this is too many points. Boise's uh, a finesse, uh, they're not a finesse team anymore. They're, they're a, a ground and pound team. Well, that's what Wyoming's been for years. Give me the 14 and a, what is it, 14 and a half or 14, whatever it is. I think it's a game. I think Boise's probably going to get the win because they're more talented, but I, I, I could see this one being. Uh, being close. What's All that right. weather? So just a couple, couple things to point out here. The sun is going to set a very, uh, very Four forty-four. Oh, the fours in this game is out of control. It's a sign. Uh, <laughs> the sun sets at four forty-four p.m. Um, the over/unders at forty-four. The way, yeah, the over/unders at forty-four. <laughs> They're a four-to-one dog. The f- number four is speaking to us. They're catching fourteen. <laughs> Boise is minus five five five. What is going on here? You never split fives. <laughs> The, anyway, so it, the, here's what's going to happen. The, the game's going to start. It's going to be a, a brisk, feels like 12. And then the sun goes down. And within an hour or two, it's going to feel like almost zero. There's going to be uh, winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Love it. Uh, Football weather, baby. Shout out to our, our friends over at Cover Three. They talk about the, the wind kicking up when the <laughs> sun goes down. Uh, I don't know why in your right mind you would lay the points with Boise in this game. This just feels like the kind of game that Wyoming uses their grand home field advantage for. I wish this was kicking off a little later. Yeah. A little later and be really excellent. We could because we maybe see under zero football, which is Colby's favorite. Oh yeah. Oh, Wyoming yeah. all day. And they're live dog in my mind. Yep. Because of the number four. Yes. Another 4 p.m. <laughs> kick here on the West Coast. We're heading to Columbia, South Carolina, where Tennessee heads to town, laying 21 and a half. The Cox, they are plus 985, minus 2145 for Tennessee. Colby, you can ra- the money lines can be rounded in the future. Just uh, FYI. Uh, uh, I like to be a matter of t- fact. Tennessee minus the points. They're, this is all showmanship bullshit. They're, they're trying to get in without playing for their conference championship. So they got to roll it up. Give me Tennessee. No, no, no brainer. Don't care if it's chalky. 
this is all about show and they can they can abuse South Carolina. So South Carolina is see the benefit of playing in in the ACC and SEC when you play your eight conference games is you can somehow end up in a bowl being a terrible football team. South Carolina is a terrible football team. Give me Tennessee yeah. minus 21 and a half. So you need you're you're advocating for a ninth conference. Yes. Okay. Every, are every, we yeah. are we worried that this is South Carolina's Super Bowl and that you know the game sold out they're going to be jacked for this spot? To try and just hang with Tennessee. Are no. we worried about that at all? I mean, those fans show up. It's credit to them for any of these games, but the reality is they're just not good, man. You watch, you Shane watch Beamer's them. packing up his office, getting ready to take the Hokies <laughs> job. Honestly, if Will Levis doesn't miss the Kentucky game, they wouldn't even be bowl eligible. You know, their their only other wins are against Texas A and M. And and by the way, don't you find it hilarious that Vanderbilt has a better record than A and M in the SEC? Nice move. <laughs> Nice move, Aggies. Nice I'm taking move. uh Tennessee minus twenty one and a half. Are you guys are you guys touching the uh the no. the JFK bowl in uh this weekend? What's the, what's the JFK bowl, Colby? Uh, UMass at uh, Texas A and M. <laughs> it's back, baby. It's been fifty what, fifty three years or fifty seven years or something? All right. Finally coming back to It's a baby fucking wheel, man. <laughs> so Colby's already squeezed two extra games on the sheet. Now he's trying to squeeze in this UMass. Yeah, Texas come on. A&M it's a game. fun one. It's the you know That's a that, you know, so brave of Texas A and M to schedule UMass this late in the season. <laughs> Uh, all so right. random. We're all on Tennessee, right? Obviously. <laughs> yep. Let's do, go. Do we? Do I even want to look at the money split before we move on? It's probably not good. I know it's probably probably horrific, but uh, according to this, eighty-eight percent. Man, and the hook could bite you, right? No, the they're just really it's, it's style points. They style points don't exist until they do, and they're going to exist in Columbia, South Carolina. All right, four thirty p.m. On the West Coast, let's head over to Stillwater, Oklahoma State. No, Oklahoma. no, I'm sorry, this is oh. in Norman. My bad. Let us head yeah. over to Norman, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, minus seven and a half for the home team, Oklahoma, minus two ninety five on the money line, Oklahoma State plus two thirty five, sixty four and a half is the total. Uh, I I actually have no idea what to do with this one. I'm, gut says you take the points with Oklahoma State. Well, I mean, wait. Oklahoma State beat Texas just like we predicted because yeah. we know Gundy's made it. He's been on the public record yeah, saying get hates. Oklahoma and, o- and Texas out of our meetings oh. for the Big Twelve. I think it's personal for him. He beat him last year. I think he wants to make it two in a row. Yeah. Give me the Cowboys. Give me the Cowboys plus two thirty five as well, man. Take that money line. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call him Oklahoma State, and I am going to take them plus seven and a half. It is weird. I mean, they were, you know, they were really kind of rolling, and then they lost forty eight to nothing to K State. I do think they have some talent on that team, and Oklahoma has been pretty bad ATS. I'll I'll ride with you guys and take uh, yeah, Oklahoma yeah. State plus seven and a half. Can we get the breaking news? Sound sure. Sixty nine percent of the actions on UMass going against Texas A and M. Hey, that, that's that, amazing. That's what I'm saying. Th- this is I mean you can't you can't make this shit up. USC had what do they call USC UCLA? The battle for LA. We're heading to Pasadena. Ba- the battle of bitches. Right. We're heading to Pasadena <laughs> to watch football and eat wine, cheese, and uh, cured hold meats. On. Have you seen this? The UCLA is claiming a sellout, even though the whole stadium won't be full. It's well, fucking classic because they have those tarps. Aren't I? I, I thought they were going to release the. They tarps. took two of the tarps away. They're they're selling it out what? at seventy thousand. Colby it's, hates college it seats football. A, it fits a hundred thousand. So well, that's maybe if you weren't anything you, can, out. anything you can do to convince yourself you see that you're a football. You're seventy thousand in school. that stadium is pretty good. USC minus two and a half. I, minus I figured one. Taylor Swift was doing the halftime show or something. Well, Beyonce <laughs> yeah. would have sold it out. Yeah. Minus one thirty on the money line. UCLA plus one. T- Beyonce and Justin Timberlake definitely selling that out. Seventy five and a half is the total. I mean, once again, these pa- Pac twelve total uh, seventy five and a half. Big Ten total thirty two and a half. <laughs> It's insane. I'm taking UCLA plus two and a half. I, I can Pac-12 s- shits itself every year, right? This yeah, is the way and, they shit themselves. And, and UCLA losing to Arizona and then beating USC is just the ultimate. That's how it works. The, the Pac-12 falls apart because if if USC wins in dramatic fashion, they're looking pretty good to make a run into the playoff here. I, I'm gonna fade them one more time. I know it's crazy. This is probably a homer play. I do like the UCLA Bruins. Didn't see much effort out of them on Saturday. I think. They get up massively for this game and pull out the upset win over USC. I think it's a game, man. I really do. Like I can make cases for why both teams would win. No, UCLA's yeah. I mean, physicality. if I didn't have a yeah. if I didn't have a dog in the fight, I'd probably go USC. But I mean, both teams. I, I 
I think there's a, I mean, Travis Dye just got injured. Uh, he's out. He's been like a, a key piece for USC. Although the football gods got even with them. Um, and, uh, and I, I think just, I'm going to, at the end of the day, I'm going to go USC minus two. Just and a listen half. to these scores, yeah. Colby. This is football 62 33, 43 38, 52 35, 34 27, 28 20. Don't antagonize 36, Colby. We've 40, made him mad. 28 23 is not bad. 40. 21 38 tw- this is a r- this is the UCLA you say rivalry lately but uh, last year remember they they in the Coliseum they ran it up and I think USC even though even though Lincoln Riley wasn't there or Caleb Williams there's still a decent chunk of that team that was there it is a little personal give me USC minus two and a half <sighs> the number tells me to take UCLA the situation tells me to take UCLA because the Pac-12 never never finds a way into the playoff because no, they Well, you know how they're not going to find the way in the playoff, they, right? They got Notre Dame next week. <laughs> That's a nice look ahead spot for them. Well, that would be a hilarious lot. They're not looking ahead past UCLA. That's for, especially when UCLA beat them 62. I'm just saying they're not going to make the playoff if they lose to Notre Dame. Yeah, no, I hear you. That'd be a funny that, or the or the Pac-12 championship. I, I'm they're gonna, gonna go, lose in the Pac-12 championship you, probably. The, you uh, look, uh, UCLA shit the bed in the look ahead spot. They come back, they win the game. <laughs> F Lincoln Riley. Are, Still mad here? about ECU going into Blacksburg. I'm, uh, take very care very disappointed. All right, late night Pac-12 action. Seven thirty kick on the West Coast. Heading to Eugene, Utah, Oregon. Oregon laying three minus one fifty five on the money line plus one thirty. For Utah, sixty-one and a half is the total. I mean, I, I'm on the Utes, is, man. Is Bo, yeah, I mean, I I saw, I I heard, and then saw a nugget that Bo Nix is is dealing with an injury. It, it, to, it, to me, it doesn't matter. Even if they, I mean, yes, it matters as Utah's far as Utah's the better team, right? Uh, yeah, I, th- I think they're, they're Oregon's pass defense is terrible. I think Cameron Rising should be able to take advantage of that. And I also think the coach. I mean, dude, what is Dan Lanning doing last week? He went for a fourth and two on his own, like 28 yard line with the game tied up with a minute left and they didn't get it. And then uh, Washington's like, okay, Analytics. we'll kick the field goal. It was like Austin powers. Like you want to stay on four? I too live dangerously. It's like, okay. I mean, I'm actually, I'm going to Oregon here you, on the bounce back. The square sharp. Yeah. I think, I think Washington got in their head and they started chasing. I'm taking Oregon. Um, we got to do. We got to do some sort of deep dive on like dumb coaches trying to be smart with <laughs> analytics and just using it wrong. I don't. I don't think Lanning is a great coach, but I think this is a good spot for Oregon coming off that tough loss against Washington. And Utah's a good team, but they're a different team on the road True. than at home. I love. I. I think this is you're going to get the best effort from Oregon. I was uh, like, oh, the chat's agreeing with me on my anti-Oregon take. Then I realized it's an Oregon, tried, Oregon yeah, State yeah, fan, so yeah. that's not and, and hardcore I, Beaver. Look, I think Lanning might end up being a good coach. It was just a very, very stupid decision. I, I was shocked by that decision. Uh, They're I like mean, the analytics say you can get two yards. But the, it, it is sad that these guys are literally paid millions of dollars and they don't actually know the best decision. Like they don't. It's it's their job, and they don't know what to do in a situation when that's why they're making the big <laughs> fucking stupid. All right, lock dog tees. Time for the lock dog tees presented by WinBet SportsGamblingPodcast dot com slash WinBet. Bet big, win bigger. Kramer, first lock. What do you got? You sure you want me to go first? All right, I'll go first. First lock. I mean, it's got to be Wyoming plus fourteen. Second lock. It's got to be. Uh, I'm a little, t- yeah, give me Tennessee laying the points style points matter mm. for my dog. You know, the college football landscape has been just, it's been pretty awesomely chaotic. Kansas is easy. I'll leave that for one of you guys. Give me Illinois. Michigan oh. goes down. Look ahead. Wow. And for my tease, let's uh, let's make sure we're only going through key numbers. First up Kansas. Give me that up to 15. <laughs> Iowa plus nine. That's almost impossible for them to lose. And then, uh, oh, UCLA to eight and a half. It's a classic uh, Wong teaser mm. there, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for me, gonna give you a lock dog and two, ooh, New Mexico. Uh, that's that was a little wonky game. All right, Kansas plus nine. I love. Yeah, I'll do uh, Kansas plus nine as my lock. Oh. For my dog, I'll go Wyoming on the money line. This is this is just an awesome spot for the Wyoming. I think they get up for this and they really take care of business. You didn't even mention the fours. 
and there's a lot of fours in yeah. that number, as Ryan mentioned. Yeah. Uh, and I'll give, I'll throw a chalky road dog. Give me Georgia twenty-one and a half, or sorry, minus twenty-two and a half. I'm tired of losing Are money. You out there shopping numbers? No. Find a better number out there. I'm just tired of losing money betting against Georgia, so uh, I'm in on Georgia there. Okay, now time for the tease. <laughs> Take Illinois up to the uh, key number twenty-four. Someone Actually, asked me why we do a college football teaser, and I told them they don't get the joke. You know what? Do I take Illinois plus eighteen <laughs> as my d- lock? Oh yeah, I, I'm I, doing that instead. I think you aggressively tease numbers around like fifteen to twenty. So like I'm, Colby's on to something. I'm taking. I'm instead. I'm adjusting my lock. Will now be Illinois plus eighteen. Yeah, and I'm going to tease Georgia down to sixteen and a half. That is a delicious tease. Oh wow, yeah, very well done. <laughs> delicious. Very well done. Scrumptious. <laughs> It's like beer flowing down the ass crack of a stripper. <laughs> oh man, I got a, I got, an, I got an Atlantic City story that's not fit for air to get into it sometime. Oh, it's a, it's Any Atlantic City stripper story, a, I don't want to hear. That's right. how they sanitize in Atlantic City. It's got uh, alcohol in yeah, it. Right? You gotta throw vodka on that. Right? <laughs> UCLA plus eight and a half is my other leg uh, of my tease. Pouring pop off down. And then. Um, the only like what the only prostitute or hooker story uh, in, in Atlantic City you want to hear is from what the 1920s. <laughs> oh, you gotta be careful. Oh. One tried to sell a Monopoly board to me in a McDonald's one morning. All right, so <laughs> here is I know there is some wavering, but Kansas plus nine is my lock. Wyoming as my money line dog. My tease. Georgia minus sixteen okay. and a half. UCLA plus eighteen and a half. Tennessee minus fifteen and a half. And my bonus. Lock Illinois plus eighteen. So the nerds are wondering why you, uh, you got UCLA no! plus eighteen and a half. <laughs> We're gonna go with eight and a half All right. for UCLA. Eight and a half, yeah. I like it. What do you got, Colby? Colby, right. I require you to start with your T's. Oh, okay. T's? Okay. Let's let's I just uh, like to watch the master work. <laughs> let's go. Uh I'm gonna do what are we doing here? Let's take let's take Wyoming to twenty. Oh yeah. See, he yeah. knows what he's doing. Wyoming to twenty. Let's take Oklahoma State to thirteen and a half. It's and like a building a DFS lineup. Like, uh, oh, what a contrarian angle! And let's go uh, <laughs> Boston College to twenty seven. Oh wow! Yeah, I wow. would have never thought to do that. <laughs> That's how you win a million dollars, right there, guys. Lock Boston College my, or plus twenty one. Uh oh, Colby. <laughs> You but know what happens when you doubled it when you cross the street. No, nah, he's, he's had a couple good ones there. Yeah. Bonus lock: Baylor plus two and a half. Whoa! Dog, I thought TCU was your number one team. Dog, they are as far as resume. Resume, not my opinion. Resume. Uh, <laughs> so confusing. Dog, we're going. We're going with the the mullet plus two thirty five on the money line. Oklahoma State, let's go, baby. Really? All right. So I. Like, right, I mean, just, for let's me, let's just evaluate. I gave out a six fifty five dog. Sean gave out a four to one dog. Col- can we get a small dog bark? Please, okay, for, okay. For fuck you. You want to go big? You want to no. go big? Two thirty five is fine. Boston just- College money line. <laughs> fuck you. All right. <laughs> and Dry- let's go. Dryden just wants to make it super clear that he is fading the ducks, and we're missing a great opportunity <laughs> by not locking it. Saw, up. What do you someone's mean? talking about Apache Junction strip clubs. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Oh, what there were eye patches involved at the <laughs> Apache Junction. Wow, that's th- there's a lot. It's a lot on to there. unpack there. For our, a money line round robin, we have a lot to choose from, because <laughs> Oklahoma State money line, Wyoming money line, Illinois money line, but we also are, are in agreement on Kansas and the well, disc- Kramer's not on BC. Discord has a lot of uh, a lot of picks this week. <laughs> um, I feel like we go New Mexico. Oh no, that's that's Illinois. I feel like that's, I think that's we just, living dangerously. Why don't we just go with our actual dogs? Oklahoma State, Wyoming, Illinois, and don't overthink it. I'm good with that. Okay, right, there, okay. We go. there we go. Money line round robin: Oklahoma State, Wyoming, Illinois. Who are you taking in the JFK Bowl? Thirty-three UMass. and a half. Thirty-three UMass. and a half points. Let's you going go. UMass? Yeah. All JFK day. Bowl. Who are you going? Texas A&M. We they disappoint. I see the way that crowd shows up, no matter what. They're there for the parade. Um, t- I think this is a game where you get to show off for the alumni, get the fatter envelope after the game. Give me Texas A&M. Oh, oh, I'm going, I'm going UMass to the points. Let's and go. If you want an off the board selection, Virginia Tech's catching 10 points against Liberty this week and Liberty's getting 95% of the action. Make it 96. All right. <laughs> because give me the, fl- give me the flaming libs. You got, you got to, you got to continue to fade coach Pry. <laughs> no, they can't lose that game. Right. No, they're gonna lose it, Ryan. That's yeah. what they do. We're a basketball school. Hey, what what's the what's the Hokies basketball record? 
Undefeated. Undefeated, baby. Undefeated. Let's go. Hey, check out the merch store. Ten percent off when you use the promo code Dallas Sucks. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean <laughs> stacking the money green. He's Ryan. Go Hokies. Kramer, let it ride.